um, you know, let's take it back a little bit, man. The shit, eighties, nineties. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just kind of growing up in the H and shit, man. Yeah, I'm born in 1980. I'm the youngest of seven. I got three brothers, three sisters. Shit, I was born on the northeast side, like you know, Homestead area, <clears throat> Cedric Wood, like. Right, Cynic Wood, where uh, my grandmother lived and where she lived all our life. Uh, and but uh, but majority of my life, I was moving, man. I was, you know, my mama was, we was house to house. I didn't live from Sea King to Hiller Glen to Acres Home to everywhere you name, Greens Point. You a Northside baby for real. Everywhere, all over the North, though. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never lived on the South. But yeah, I moved all through the North my whole growing up so i don't really got no day one homies i knew like my whole life yeah it always been you know two here three years then you know so was you close with your older siblings or they kind of was just like man you the little you the little one you know what I'm right saying? we, we separated in age so growing up no nah, not really you know they had their own little things they was grown too my brother them was hustling together and they was always exing me out. Them niggas would get Jordans, wouldn't buy me none. So I ain't really fuck with them. You know, I was like, fuck them niggas. Them niggas got the new J and left it. Talking about, you know, we hustling. You don't want to put you, man, fuck that nigga with my J's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I kind of had my own little crew. I, I kind of did my own thing. Had my little bike gang. We ride around still bikes and shit. That was it, shit, growing up. <clears throat> um, like I say, they was hustling, so I just watched that shit, ride with my cousin while he hit legs, or my brother them, and just do shit like that, you know, through Scenic Wood. Man, I've been over there since since I was fucking 10 years old, riding around, watching motherfuckers, you know, meeting motherfuckers since way back then. Yeah. And then it went to Acres Home area. We've been over there, like, from, like, 10 up. You know, I graduated from Eisenhower, but I went back and forth. I went to Smiley. I went to Northwood over here for middle school. Like, I go back and forth. Yeah. Kept moving. So, I think it kind of fucked me up. I need to go talk to a therapist. Yeah. I, don't, I ain't stable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always on the that go. That shit had a long term effect it on you. It fucked me shit. up. Yeah. I was realizing it as I listened to all Did this mental to health it? shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Kind of live, though, because you're doing what you're doing. Like, yeah. You got to think, you went to a whole bunch of schools, you know what I'm saying, so a bunch of All people of familiar with you. Right, that's how I know everybody in the motherfucking, you know, especially on the north. It's because I went to school all over the north. I went to, like, you know, so many different schools, so, yeah, it might have helped. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, shit, you ain't never, I mean, because shit, nigga, you six, six or some shit, six, you wasn't six. hooping or no shit like that? Man, I played, I played basketball. As long as I got to ask, you know Look, what I'm saying? Like, I played basketball in middle school. First of all, like I say, I ain't got no father figure. I, don't, I you know, I don't even know my daddy. Never seen a picture of him. So it's like, I ain't had nobody to push me like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had a coach at school at Hoffman. I went to Hoffman. I played for like half a year, seventh grade, I think. So... <clears throat> I used to live in Sterling Grove. That was right over there by Hoffman Middle School. <clears throat> we ended up getting into it with some niggas. They shot up the house and shit, all kind of shit. So we motherfucking got kicked out of there and had to move back to Homestead. So in middle school, I, in order for me to play, first of all, it's middle school. So you get out of school at what, four? Yeah. yeah. All right. So in order for me to play, I was going to have to catch a bus from um, Acres Home, four, you know, and take that shit all the way downtown, all the way to Homestead. I'd be getting home by 7 o'clock. I said, man, fuck that shit. <laughs> I, ain't finna I did it for a little bit, and then I started getting in trouble and shit. In school, I be in detention, missing practice. Them niggas got their shit together. I don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Can't run you the know plays what I'm shit. Like yeah. the plays, fuck them. Yeah. I just say, man, fuck that shit. They kept trying to get me to go back in there. But, you know, I was just so, I was, like I said, I grew up around hood shit my whole life. Like, ride my cousin, niggas hitting licks and just hood shit. So when I moved to GovBank, I just ain't want to, you know, I, I was trying to see what the block do. It was lit, man. That shit was like TV. Yeah, it was just so lit on that block. You'll see anything. Tell me about it. What were you saying, that's a man? Right? Nah, I'm talking about over there for Gov Bank and Antoine. Oh, like, yeah, okay. Okay. that's when I was. Yeah. You know, that's where it really that block, yeah. man. That <laughs> shit was so crazy. So, what, around what years is? <clears throat> Shit, this was like all the nineties, like the whole fucking nineties. The whole nineties. Like, this crack era though, so it's all this exactly. shit. Exactly, it's yeah. going down. Niggas running from laws. Niggas shooting every single day. It's every everything going on. Yeah, everything going on. It's lit over there. 
So that same little corner is where like everybody hustled at my brother and all them, everybody. So <clears throat> we, I go to high school at Eisenhower. That, I live in the parking lot, nigga. Like so, yeah. You know, I could take hoes straight home. <laughs> <laughs> it was so real, like you know, just so. I ain't gonna I'm from the north. I had them hoes. Ike man. had all of the hoes. Ike had them hoes. Eisenhower, yeah. you you would go to the school and see a new hey. bitch every day, hey. a bitch you ain't seen. Hey. It's like not no small school, nigga. Yeah. yeah. It's and all of a sudden, I was blessed to be in block scheduling. Right, <laughs> so what block scheduling is is you got four classes, yeah, and an hour long lunch, and the whole school open. Everybody go to lunch together. Uh, this shit is no club is fucking with this because this <laughs> your <laughs> this your age of bitches. You know what I'm saying? And they everywhere. And I live in the parking lot. <laughs> Man, I would not go to school and go to lunch and go back home. <laughs> I couldn't miss it. Nigga, that movie be lit. <laughs> nigga, that lunch is lit. Nigga. I can attest to that. No, being from the South Side, I ain't really stopped oh. going to the North till maybe yeah. 2006, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you missed a lot of shit, that's boy. That's what I got to say. <laughs> but hey, what I didn't know is there's a high number of black and Latino mixed girls out there. And it's really going down, man. It was like it was, it was like a... It was like a, a, a a little pocket of them. Nah, there's some bad bitches on yeah. it now. They I don't must... just be in them. Let me put this up. It, it don't be a lot of, uh, it don't be a lot of, um, I don't know, but they, they ducked out. You ain't gonna just, you know, you don't, you don't think the North got hoes, but you can, a lot of them bitches I be meeting, they be up from the North. I live on the yeah. North. That's... You know what I'm saying? So it's like, experience. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. But so... yeah, it's like that, but like growing up, it was fucked up, you know, but uh, like I grew up around a bunch of dumb shit. All my homeboys is, is who I grew up with, and like one of uh, a few, few of them passed. One of them paralyzed from neck down. Like niggas just like, this is my immediate homeboys who I kicked it with every single day. Like yeah. it's just real, they doing numbers, like stupid numbers. So, you know, I was around all the dumb shit. But a nigga made it through that shit with the rap shit. I was in high school that Ike, um, and this what happened. It's like you had a friend or something who got you in the rap or some shit, right? Well, really, I was rapping since I was like twelve. Well, my brother, my step brother, not my step. I say my step brother, my brother Tay Day. He wrote me a rap when I was like ten years old, so I would say that bitch like it was mine. And then niggas was like, oh, that little nigga can rap. So I really eventually had to figure this shit out. <laughs> so, you know. They needed a new rhyme. <laughs> yeah, so my, oldest like brother, Willie D. my oldest brother, Tony. Is somebody you smoking? My oldest brother, Tony, uh, he bought me a karaoke machine when we was living in Northwood Manor. And I just sit in that bitch all day because, you know, I ain't really know nobody in the Manor, so I ain't had shit to do. I sit in that bitch all day. And just make motherfucking songs off of a Southern Playalistic. It was a single, uh, Outcast. Yeah. I think it was International, what it was, Southern Playalistic, and some other song on there. I made like was three albums. Outcast? Nah, that's before that. That's the, like they first shit. Okay. Oh, the Playalistic. So, yeah. Yeah, like, nah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the first yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, that, the Playalistic. And then Southern Playalistic. Yeah, yeah. Them yeah. two. Yeah. Man, I made fucking whole album. Two or three of them hoes off them, them two beats. Two beats. That's all I had, nigga. But I, was, <laughs> I remember one of them was called Bionic Chronic, and I was like 12 years old. You know what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, that you house is crazy, though, huh? You remember them shits? Hell no. Nah, that's <laughs> all I remember. It's that Bionic Chronic. That's all it's like. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was Silky Slim back then, I think. Silky Slim. <laughs> Slim. Oh. I think I was silky slim. I was watching the Mac so much, you know what I'm saying? That was a big at that big, age. Yeah, at that yeah. age. That's what I'm saying. I got older brothers, so we ain't had nothing but the real shit. Like I was around. I'm gonna tell y'all the story one time, fool. I was fucking ten years old. It's like some child abuse shit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I come home, nigga. I come home. Um, <laughs> but first of all, I never had rules, fool. Like. My mama would work from seven to seven, like so she wouldn't have a clue like seven at night to seven in the morning. So oh, okay, okay. I never had to come home. I never had to like you got curfew. Oh, I got it. no. We do whatever the fuck we want to do. Yeah. My pe my brothers is older. You know, everybody. My sister and my they supposed to be. They like how much me. older than you though? I think my next sister is uh, five years older than me. Nelvin probably like five years older than me. 
Okay. Yeah, so three, yeah, about five or four years older than me. So, you know, we got a gap, you know what I'm saying? So, but I used to be roaming the streets, nigga, all fucking night, nigga, like do whatever I want to do. With who though? Because ain't what Just kids is My like? crew. <laughs> who at home? My crew. <laughs> my, like I say, that's the niggas who, that, all that yeah, shit, yeah. That, you know, they like, we was just hood oh, niggas, right. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like just out there. But everybody knew us because, you know, that's what we did. So shit, I come home, one, I remember I came home one day, nigga, I opened the door. Them, everybody in that bitch naked, nigga. It's like three fat bitches. My brother and them all got these. They running trains on this hoe. They running trains on these bitches. Oh, man. So then, nigga, um, them niggas like, nigga, you scared of that pussy? I said, nigga, I ain't scared of no pussy, nigga. I saw, I saw that finger <laughs> I put my whole hand in this bitch, like, and I turned my head. I was like, nigga, I ain't the scared of that a big old bitch. <laughs> oh, they wasn't that big, with them whole big to be, you know. Yeah, so. Yeah, I remember that did they make, they made, like did they made you knock her down? They, they was yeah, like, nah, get the fuck out of here, nigga. I was like, I was like I'm good. Child abuse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's like, what, Just that is, like 12 exposed. or some shit? Nah, I was like 10, 11 with that oh, shit, bro. Shit. Yeah, I was 12, I was fucking, nigga. Like, I, was, I lived in Northwood Manor, and, like, my sister had a baby daddy, and she had a little, so he had a little sister, and she would be over there, and shit. I motherfucking caught her at 12 years old. I downed her and, and got it out the way. I was a grown man then, shit. Yeah. <laughs> nigga grew up fast. Yeah, yeah. Grew up fast. That's like the first piece we touched up. That shit was funny, though, man. Because yeah. she was like, Boy, did you busting me? I say, shit, I don't know how it feel. I wasn't even jacking up with that. I was so young. I was so young and out of that kid. Like, man. that shit crazy, fool. Oh, man. So I lived a rough life, kid. I, was, I said all that to I say this. Young, I was young and wild, man. I did so, so to then, so. I did whatever the fuck I want to do early, man. I always been like that. Yeah, so then, so when you get into like the car shit, the car theft and like all that shit, then you get like a car theft charge or some shit when you like yeah, 15? Yeah, I was like 15. I got an auto theft. That was over there off of Goodson Road, over there in Greensboro. Point area. Yeah, man. Uh man, really that wasn't even what I was on though. You know, like I didn't stole cars before, but I wasn't even tripping on stealing it. It was just some trying to get some parts for my other car. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I wasn't trying to dry flip or no shit. I was trying to get that bitch to get some parts for my shit. I ain't think it was nobody shit though, you know what I'm saying? So I was young. I just seen the hoe sitting there for a long time. I was like, man, let me get this bitch. I was trying to put me a slab together at, at that age, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. So that type of dumb shit. They bait card? No, nah, it wasn't no bait card. It was just a car that was sitting in the apartments that oh, I lived in for a long ass time. But yeah, that was some dumb shit. But I was grown though then. I was driving, nigga, at like 14. Nigga, I drive, drive bringing mama to work. No license. I was driving the driver's head. So oh, it was shit. like everything, fool. Like I had, uh, at 15, I had four permanent goals. I said slim in my shit, nigga. <laughs> From Mr. Gold, man, back in the day, um, back in the day, the nigga would come to your house, nigga. Like, you call them and you get a few people together. Like, cause how I start out, niggas ain't have grills. Niggas just had one grit, one go, one go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Open face. Yep. That's what it used to be. Most people had that. My little dumb ass. Just imagine, I'm 15 years old. I got a whole four piece back and to what, back. Your mom ain't doing up. no tripping? They, ain't, they couldn't stop me. Like, they couldn't tell me. It was too late. I didn't ask for permission. Until yeah. you grown. It was too late, yeah, yeah. I pulled up. Well, you know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. I did it because I was mad because they finessed me. So it was a it was a LeSabre I seen, and they only wanted, uh, I think they wanted like 900 for that hoe or some shit. Like, and it needed some work, but I was trying to buy it. But I was like 14 or 15 years old. So they was like, Nah, nigga, you don't need no car. You know, they was my big brother them was trying to they ain't tell me that. They just finessed it until the nigga sold the hoe. Yeah. So they finessed me and made me miss the, the car cause until the nigga sold it. So I was pissed. So I just slugged my shit up on their mark ass. Came back <laughs> with my grill. They was like, man, look at this little dumbass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so did he say so did you did was he selling you some shit then or he still was like, nah, nigga? Who? Nah, I'm talking about I was trying to buy a car. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
But they sold a car when you, But you said you still went back Did you go back to them And try to get some more shit though Nah I say Instead of buying the car Oh instead they, of getting the car You just went and got sold, the grill I went and got the grill Okay And slugged up on their motherfucking ass Yeah, yeah I got two of these <laughs> Okay That's so shit So that what happened Yeah shit, yeah Shit then it was Slim Thug From down on out I was growing my fro At the same time So when that's when you That's when you decided To become Slim Thug Like how did you get nah, The name Slim Thug Slim Thug came just with Looks how the fuck it look. I was slim. I had slim right on my slug. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what they call me. And at the same time, growing my braids and shit. So niggas just was like, you know, I don't even know who came up with that shit. Like, I always want to know where it was more where description. Did the braids thing come from, like the north side. Because I was, because the south side, like I say, like me and Donnie went to the same high school. So braids didn't become a thing to shit. Maybe 2000. 2001, but y'all had already, you know, so where did that even come from? Was that something y'all had just talked about on the north side? Like, hey, we're going to get braids. That's a good question. It, it, was, it was basically uh, um, like we just kind of made it a north side thing. Like, you know, like we kind of, everything, if you don't notice, like everything, like my whole thing is growing up, I was against the South Side because they was against us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. no, I wasn't with li- listening to DJ Screw with him saying fuck the North Side. Like, I wasn't down with that. So, you know, yeah. I wouldn't listen to it. Was you know? anybody out there on that shit? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. all my homeboys would play it while he's saying, yeah, fuck them niggas on the North. I throw that shit out the car. <laughs> them niggas would be hot, you know? But I'm a young nigga, you know? Yeah. So I'm you like, you yeah. know, when you're a young nigga, yeah. you don't yeah. give yeah. a fuck, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, I'm from the North. What the fuck type of sucker shit y'all on, nigga? Listen to this shit. These niggas talking about fuck us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So my whole thing was always the opposite. Them niggas do the fade, we do the braids. Them niggas do the red, we do the blue. Like, you know, we ain't trying to, you know, dick ride. We do it with our own thing. We the north side, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's them and we us, you know what I'm saying? And made it cool, you know what I'm saying? Had to had to let people, had to represent and make it be cool to be from the north side. Because at that time, south side was dominating everything. It was south side world. You couldn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody on the north talking about we repped the north, man. You know, with nobody claiming it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. we had to make that shit cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what y'all, I mean, shit, you that grown and you getting in clubs and shit at this time while you that young? I'm in clubs, nigga. 15 years old, I'm in watching two live crew. What? I'm, I'm going live. What what uh what what clubs you uh going Chocolate to? Chocolate Town, nigga. That's Chocolate the Town. best club in the world. I heard a lot about that, man. Tell me about thing. Chocolate Town. Chocolate Town is the man. That shit was a uh, man. That was the craziest shit. I want to say that's where the Rhinestone ever. Wrangler used to be. <coughs> now <coughs> Rhinestone was on Homestead. Okay, okay. And okay. that's what I'm saying. That's by the that's right in Scenic Wood. Gotcha. Okay. Now that's why I was 12 years old. I'm in the parking lot of that oh, bitch with okay. my cousin. Okay. You know, no, he see? out here hustling. Tell me about the Rhinestone. I mean, like I don't know much. I was a kid. I don't remember a lot of nothing, but I just remember being in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, he he a parking lot nigga. You know, he ain't gonna get out the car. He gonna post up. I mean, they gonna post up in the lot. So we out there. I ain't never go in that bitch over there. But now over um at Chocolate Town, I was in that bitch. Yeah, fifteen years old, I was in that whole nigga. Like, but then I was seventeen when I started rapping. Like, so yeah, at fifteen, I had a motherfucking um. Full grill. What happened? Sixteen. I started. Uh, I got me that that green drop top with the bull. With the bull horn. Where they come from? Did they already had it on there? You went and got that. Oh, no, just... I put them on there. Where did that shit come from? I'm telling you, bro. Like, <laughs> Dukes of Hazard. Boss it's it's yeah. a TV Boss show. Hall. Yeah, Dukes, Dukes of Hazard. Hazard yeah. yeah. That's how I got the name, though. They they called me Boss Hog off of that drop. So mm. that's why I got the little Boss Hog. I be telling you know niggas like I I vividly remember like I. I went to Westfield. Yeah. So we used to play out, you know what I'm saying? Right. Football. Right. We play out at uh MO Camp. I remember your ass yeah. coming through that bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like yeah. nine seven nine eight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Early, Dro- early nigga. <laughs> the motherfucking yeah. bullhorns on that bitch, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? That Green was like slab, super. Nigga. So a lot of people knew me from that. <laughs> yeah. This is before I got with Swisher House though. Yeah. But they knew me from being a young nigga, just I I had a fro, I'd be everywhere, I'd be at Chocolate Town. And that's a spot we had called All Star on the mm-hmm. North with y'all. All for two forty nine, right? Westfield, Alice yeah, yeah. Howard, Aldine, yeah. oh, all ta- them different look people. Look at y'all had all these South Side legends on this bitch. <laughs> now y'all so talking I, this I North Side shit. Relate to, you know what I'm saying? What the yeah. fuck going on on this motherfucker? Right. You know so I mean? All Star was like the little shit we are all be at all the different schools on the North, and um, 
DJ Michael Watts was the DJ at that bitch sometimes, you know. Yeah. So he'll be in that hole and niggas, I'd be like, man, give me the mic. Let me. I buy Because Watts tapes. was on the radio and shit back then. I don't know if he was on the radio, but I know he was making mixtapes. And okay. I was buying his mixtapes before I even. Was they slow down yeah, tapes? It was slowed down and all that shit. Long time ago, I used to buy them from K Bargain um, right in front of Cynic Wood. Like, that used to be a flea market over there. It's so much history in this shit, fool. Like. This is the first time I'm ever hearing about any of this. K Bargain is like King's Flea Market hmm. for Homestead, though. K Bargain is where Emmett, you know who Emmett the Jewel yeah. is? Yeah. That's where Emmett come from. No it shit. It was his big brother, Vinny. Well, really, you know what? This is what really happened. I'm going to tell you how far this shit go back. I bought my first piece of chain when I was 15 out of K Bargain from Emmett Big Brother, Vinny. That's the nigga who used to do the jury back in the days before, you know, yeah. all that. Emmett used to work at King's Flea Market with T, with, uh, not Johnny. TV, with King John. Yeah. No shit. Right. Yeah. So them niggas are all cool. Don't let them niggas fool y'all with all this <laughs> old we battling and shit. I don't believe that shit. Cause yeah, how the but, fuck you work that that did now? Yeah. You know, but you know, they get their own shops. I know they try to, or whatever. But he from my hood, basically. <laughs> Emmett, them from my hood. You know what I'm saying? So. Like you had them over here on the north. That's where we all got our jury from, and 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 did that shit. And K. Morgan was the shit, man. And that's what Watts would have his his tapes at. Uh, it was them niggas who got that store in Greens Point. What was the name of that store in Greens Point they used to have? That sold a lot of shit. Damn, I don't feel like a whole ass nigga. That nigga got me so much money in my life. Fuck it though, yeah. The Stow and Greens point. He used to have a shit. In, him and his daddy used to have the one K bargain. Everybody came up, man. The nigga who was selling me tapes since I was 15 years old. He owned Music Depot. That was the name of the Music stuff. Depot. Okay. Them niggas end up buying Music Depot in Greens Point and having a motherfucking real live store from the tape um, from the tape place. Man, Emmett came from the K bargain. Nigga, this nigga on West Timer. Selling everybody jury in the world, nigga. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was all really based off of our little wave, though. We was bringing niggas in town. We we, we blew up, still tipping, hit the block. We all had jury. Was shining. Niggas was like, who the fuck is that? Where they get that? No, you from know, Emmett, and that's yeah. good from back, on, the day, that no shit back. from back in the day. Because no from back in the day and shit. On the cool, niggas ain't even, like, niggas, like, from the streets didn't really fuck with TV Johnny like that. None of us, nobody. I never even bought nothing from TV Johnny, like a grill maybe, but not no like jury. Sure. Yeah. Nobody used to even buy nothing from him back in the day. But Pow Wow made the nigga, you know, Pow. cool. Like yeah. really, yeah. what happened was Pow Wow would take him with him everywhere he go. So niggas would think that he made all our jury. Uh, yeah. Probably, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. probably what made them think, you know. So niggas from out of town, rappers would be buying shit from him. You know what I'm saying? He probably the biggest jeweler right now. He probably got the most, you know. And, and it's crazy, man. That's crazy. I, I read about certain things, man. I was reading about, you know, you know, they talk about particular rappers, jewels, and pieces of whatnot. And Chameleon Ass came up the Cooper. But yeah. the one that they came up was the that boss hog, the the, the, the badge. badge. The, sh the badge. And right. And chained and went with it. Right. And I was reading Ben Baller said that was the meanest piece. Like that was one of the meanest pieces, and you know he yeah. real critical when it comes yeah. to that shit. So when right. I read that and I had to go back and look at it, that piece still stand out, right? Today, yeah, yeah, it's still clean now. But uh, man, we was them niggas. We had jury before that nigga Ben Baller was was the shit though on the cool. I remember uh, Ben Baller not being the shit, and we was yep. you know had, had big jury. You know what I'm saying? That's what twenty years is though. It's a long motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? So. Man, I done seen a lot of motherfuckers come up. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I done seen a lot of motherfuckers get rich, dog. It's crazy.